everybody, it's Deligracy here and welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to be doing a really cool modern build, which I actually started on a stream the other day. So some of you guys have seen kind of the start of it and the outside of it, but I did finish it in my own time and absolutely loved every moment of it. And yeah, I'm going to give you guys a nice big modern build today. So make sure you get some tea or relax or snuggle up with a snack and let's do this. Let's get building. Or maybe you're going to play the Sims as well and build something whilst watching. Uh, whatever you want to do, do it and let me know how it goes in the comments down below. <laughs> anyway, today's video, like I said, is a modern build and it is for my new Let's Play that I've been working on for a little bit of time now. We did a nice big Tudor style build. I think it was last week. And to start off this week, I'm doing this nice modern build, which some of you guys actually saw me start on a live stream the other day. I have recently been recording some of my builds on live streams and then finishing them off in my own time. And that's actually been really fun because I kind of get to have your input at the beginning and then I kind of refine it and finish it off afterwards. So if you guys are interested in coming into a live stream, I will link um, the Twitch address in the description down below to my Twitch channel. And if you follow there for free, then you can just get notified whenever I go live. So it's really easy and just chill out. So now with this house, I decided I wanted to have the kitchen upstairs just for a little bit of a change. So we are going to have a living and entrance downstairs, and then we're going to move the kitchen upstairs. And that was just because I wanted it to be a little bit different to my usual gameplay style. Like I'm so used to having all the living area downstairs and downstairs and bedroom upstairs. So I just decided, you know what, let's just have a little bit of fun. And it'd be pretty nice to be cooking upstairs with a nice view. I think that would be nice. Uh, and then when you want to watch like a movie in the lounge room, it's nice to be nice and cozy downstairs. And I also put in a basketball court that is sunken down the edge of the house because one of the families, well, the family living here, there's only one family living here. One of their sons is going to be very athletic. So I wanted him to have a basketball court. Now, I will tell you guys a little bit more about the family living here, but I did want to say first that I absolutely loved building this house. And you guys did just briefly see then a reference image I was using while I was on the stream. Uh, when I say reference image, we weren't copying the house, not that there's anything wrong with that. I love recreating homes in The Sims, but we were just using several different images to kind of get inspiration for it and taking parts of those photographs and applying them to the build, but it definitely is its own kind of shape. Um, it basically turned out nothing like <laughs> the photographs in short. Uh, but yeah, I absolutely loved this build because a lot of you guys know, we've just skipped ahead a little bit then, uh, a lot of you guys know that one of my favorite things is modern builds in The Sims 4. I love modern homes. I think that's totally my style. And one day I'm definitely going to dream of living in a nice modern home. Although I do love probably like my favorite kind of homes are probably the ones that are like old factories or old buildings transformed into more modern places, but they still have some of the old historic features in them, like ceiling roses and beautiful tiles. Like I love when some houses have kept a few of those things in it, but taken an inspiration and kind of given it a contemporary twist from the old to the new. So that is like my dream home. Let me know in the comments down below what kind of homes you love, because everyone is so different. Now, I will tell you guys about the family now. So the family who are going to be living here are going to be called the Davenports. Now I will be releasing creator sim videos about all of these families I have created in my live streams. I did show you guys one of the families, the Harris family. Um, but yeah, the Davenport family have a mom and a dad. The mom's going to be like a bit of a f like power woman. She's really like obsessed with being fit and like getting up early and getting work done. She runs her own 
uh, talent agency and the dad is involved in business and then they have two sons. One son is going to be quite nerdy, <laughs> quite nerdy and a bit computer geeky. He does not like exercise. He is the complete opposite to his mom. He just wants to stay inside all day and play games, which I know a lot of us like to do. And then the other brother is going to be the sporty one. So that is kind of exciting. And um, their style is, well, they're super duper rich for starters. They're a very, very affluent family. A lot of the families in my Let's Play are going to be very affluent. We're going to be playing kind of the lives of the rich for this, the scandalous lives of the rich for this let's play, which is definitely something I've done before. If you guys have been around for a while, I typically like in my own time before I was a YouTuber, I would always play with rich families in the Sims. I think it was kind of because I enjoyed playing families that were so different to what my life was like. You know, I could imagine anything I wanted in The Sims 4. So not having come from a family that was affluent or really wealthy or anything, I think I enjoyed kind of being in that dream life in The Sims 4. So yeah, we are going to be playing that kind of style. And this family, the Davenports, they love things that are very modern, that are a little bit loud and outrageous. So the mum definitely has taken control of decorating the house. And there is a lot of bright colors. There's a little bit of like Tokyo inspiration upstairs in their kitchen. However, there's a whole blend of different things. Now this was going to be the mum's, the mum and dad's room. And I was going to go with purple, but in the end I felt like it looked not quite right for, for her character. I felt like she wouldn't be into super pink kind of stuff, even though that's obviously purple and black. So we actually change it in a little while to like a red and yellow theme, which I think looks a lot better. Um, I mean, I like the pink, but I just felt like it suited her character more. So we're going to change that up in a second. And the mum's name is Destiny and the dad's name is Tyler. And then they have Ajax and Noah. So it's going to be a cool family. Um, so yeah, now we've kind of turned it to the red room with the, the red room. Oh, good grief. <laughs> Not the red room, but yeah, just like red tones and gold and some yellow furniture to bring out that gold. And of course, all the beautiful brown colors. And I felt like this vanity, whilst I really loved it, I felt like the mum destiny would like to have something a little more fabulous. So we're going to change that to one of the more modern vanities because I feel like she'd want what's new and what's best uh, in one second. Here we go. Now we're going to change it. Uh, it just suited the room a little bit better, I think. And it's a nice ground room and we do have a bathroom attached to it. It does have an ensuite. I don't show all of my build recording just because I take a lot of time on houses. Like I'm, I'm not really like say James who just kind of records it all and shows you guys the whole thing. Cause it's a lot faster. All of my videos would have to be split into two videos or they would be like an hour long. So I like to, you know, chop a little bit out. So I hope you guys don't mind, but at least you guys get to see like the main parts of what I'm doing and then the finished product, which is actually what I prefer to prefer to watch in terms of house builds. And upstairs, here's the kitchen. It's kind of secluded. I feel like Destiny and Tyler, the parents would not cook at all. They're just not cooks. I feel like they would either hire someone to cook for them or they would end up getting a lot of meals just kind of delivered to them because yeah, I just don't think Destiny ever wanted to get into cooking or cleaning or anything like that. She was just like, I wanna make the bank. I wanna be the power woman in the family. So yeah, this kitchen is smaller compared to the rest of the house and it's kind of secluded in that, you know, it's put in this kind of windowless, almost windowless area. Uh, there is a thin window and I kind of like the glass panels. I think they look cool. And these tiles, um, they remind me a little bit of, I guess, Japanese interior design or more so Tokyo kind of style when combined with really bright, vibrant colors. So that combined with strong blacks, pinks and greens, I felt like gave it a little bit of a Tokyo inspired theme, which hopefully you guys will kind of see um, when we get to the end of this in the screenshots. So even just now you might see it unfold. But I just thought that was kind of cool. And yeah, now we're just going to be 
placing some paintings down. This was pretty much the painting that inspired me to make it like all out rainbow kind of colors. And yeah, I actually have to say this is probably one of my favorite rooms I've ever done in The Sims, like in any build ever. I just love it. It's just so different. <laughs> So, oh, and also across uh, the balcony there, you'll see another glass door, like a single glass door that goes into a sauna room. So they do have a sauna and I imagine it would be an infrared sauna because a destiny is very, in, very much into health and exercise and probably follows all the fads available. Um, so I felt like she needed a sauna. And then I thought we needed a little bar area here as well so they can schmooze other business people when they come over for dinner, that kind of thing. I think there'd be a lot going on, um, a lot of that going on in this neighborhood, which we will hopefully play out in the Let's Play. And a lot of you guys also have been asking, when is this Let's Play coming out? I'm not going to put a date on it because I'm just taking my time creating the houses and the families, which I have so much fun doing. But hopefully with the effort I'm putting into it, it'll be a longer Let's Play. I am guilty of doing, uh, of discontinuing Let's Plays and I don't know, I think I'm so used to having grown up changing gameplay up whenever I want when playing The Sims. It feels unnatural to me if I'm not enjoying a Let's Play to just continue it. I just feel like, oh, I need to swap it. But of course that sucks for you guys because if you're invested in the characters and the storyline and then suddenly the YouTuber stops, it's kind of like a massive letdown. So <laughs> I am definitely hoping that this Let's Play will be a longer one again. It'll kind of replace what we did for Parenthood. You know, that was kind of our solid Let's Play on the channel. Um, so yeah. That should be good. That should be very, very nice. And down the end of the hallway here, I thought it would be nice to do like a yellow on yellow wall. It kind of looks like the wallpaper has dripped onto the painting, uh, which I really love. So I thought that was kind of nice. And at the end of this hallway, we have two double doors opposing each other or opposite each other. And those are the two bedrooms of each boy. So one of the bedrooms is going to be very much gamer boy, uh, lots of gaming and movie posters around the place, a nice big gaming computer. And the one we're working on right now is going to be a much softer room, more of an by the ocean theme room, um, grays, blues. It's, I don't know, some people may describe it as boring, a bit more of a boring room, but it's a nice room. I feel like this son who does a lot of athletics who'll be in this room, he has a lot of his personality that is yet to open up to the people around him. Like he, he's, he, I don't know. He's not fully himself at the moment. I don't think so. Um, I think this room's reflective of that. Like it doesn't actually have a real sense of strong character, but it, it does show that he's interested in sport and that kind of thing. Whereas the other room is very much like a particular style in my opinion. And yeah, got some nice signed sports jerseys up there. Not bad, quite cute. And then there is a shared bathroom in the middle. And I will let you guys know that this will be on the gallery available for download in the next couple of weeks. I don't think I'll upload it right away. I'll see how I go. Um, oh, I should upload it in the next couple of days. Okay, it'll probably be up in the next couple of days. But I will get, I will let you know that I have been using custom content showers because they are a lot cleaner and more realistic to me than the showers we have in The Sims 4. It's probably the only time I'll ever say that something is cleaner than the Maxis objects in the game, but I use them because they're just like glass shields and it means you don't have to put like an actual big shower object in there. You can have just like the taps on the wall and on the floor tile, just a plug hole and some nice glass screens and there's nothing else. So I just like it. Um, so if you do want to download this, obviously when you download the house, you won't download the custom content with it. So don't worry, your game will be fine. Uh, you're not downloading anything weird, but it just means you will need to place your own showers, which will take two seconds. So no big deal, but I thought I better just let you know. And if you guys are interested in that mod, I did do a video the other day. Um, no, not the other day, like the other month. <laughs> of the best custom content ever. And it's in that video. We go through them with a link. So yeah, 
And then over here, I just felt like I felt like we needed some shelves or something, something just to fill up the wall space. So we're just going to put a couple of things on there, like a sports trophy, some books, some plants, all that good stuff. And I've got to say that I am, like I say this all the time, but it is frustrating that a lot of these objects don't sit on the shelves. And of course, just to, I guess, make that beach theme a little bit more obvious, I decided to put that ship wheel on the wall, which I think it's a steering wheel for a ship. I assume it is. At least that's that's what it looks like in my mind. So that is why that is there. And yeah, then we also have a closet. And then over here is the other's brothers, the other brother's room. So this room doesn't have as many windows, I don't think. Uh, it has that long, skinny window. So I thought it kind of was perfect if we had a darker room for this sim because he stays indoors a lot more. He doesn't like the fresh air as much. So I felt like he was happy to be in a room that felt slightly more like a cave. Whereas the other room's a little bit more open and sunlight or sunlit. And also there is a shared balcony for both brothers too. So on that shared balcony, there's a nice boxing item there for the sporty sun and then just some lounges for them to chill out and hang out with their friends on. And yeah, just pop in in a wardrobe. They both have wardrobes. Actually, every room has a wardrobe, so that is good. And there won't be any butler in this home. However, if you did want a butler for this home, downstairs where there is the basketball court we also make a laundry down there and it would be very easy to build another basement room with windows to the basketball court where you could put a butler's room so that this house is pretty easy to add on to and add more rooms to uh, if you're looking for a big modern house but you need a few more bedrooms and then there's that little gaming area. Actually, it's quite a big gaming area. It's pretty, pretty cool. It's got like a massive TV above it, two monitors, plus the actual computer. Not bad at all. And I was going with the theme of oranges in here. Well, not oranges that you eat, but like the color orange. <laughs> so I just thought that was a bit of fun. And I definitely feel like the mum got an interior designer to design her boys' rooms. Like, I feel like they're a little bit too perfect for teenagers. And yeah, now we're just kind of finishing off. Um, you got to see a little bit of the shower then. Yeah, it's it's pretty much almost come together. We've just got to do the bathroom and then we'll go into the screenshots and you guys can let me know if this build was a win or, or not a win in your eyes. Uh, do let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, there's the custom content shower. So I just think it looks more real, realistic and clean. I just, I like it. I know the water would go everywhere but it just looks cleaner for Sims. Oh, and yeah, of course, this is the laundry that I was talking about. And I love those tiles from Jungle Adventure. Oh my gosh. All, I don't use any other custom content other than the showers and build and buy, just to make that clear. All of it is from the Sims 4, only the shower is custom content. I don't like to use any other custom content in terms of building. Not because it's, um like bad or anything. I think if you like it, you should use it, but it's just not my style. Uh, and yeah, and then I decided to put an extra bathroom down there. So we're just going to place a little toilet, a little bit of a sink and it's all good. It's pretty much all done. I guess it's a half bathroom because there's no shower in there. I was like, yeah, we'll put an ironing board in the bathroom. But I was like, why would you put the ironing board in there? Oh, that's right. And we have a pool shower. So it's not in a separate room, but it's like where you'd go shower after going in the pool. Like if you want to jump onto the basketball court. Anyway, here are the screenshots. So this is the exterior of our modern house. I'm really happy with it. I, I like it a lot. I feel like I would very happily live here. <laughs> And the garden is very tropical, definitely using a lot of the new items from Jungle Adventure. I do like how there's a bit of white to kind of break up the reddy brown colors and the gray stone. It seems like a pretty balanced uh, kind of build to me. This is a front entrance. They do have a random sculpture there. And this is the lounge room, which I absolutely love. I love the blue tones in it. Upstairs, the Tokyo-inspired dining area and kitchen that is secluded with the sauna through the window there. And then we also have the bar in the corner. Kitchen, pretty small, pretty plain and simple. And there is a couch there, like a nice long couch with some coffee tables. And then this is the hallway with the yellow wall. Going down to the two brothers' rooms, this is the Gamer Boy room. 
And then we have the other room, which is the more beach kind of vibe, hippie vibe in there. So quite different personalities. And then the balcony area where they can chill out with friends, have a good time. I also did an office off camera because I had a bit more space. I love the office. That is definitely Destiny's office. And that's the master bedroom, which is one of my favorite rooms I think I've ever done. I just love it. It looks so classy. <laughs> I just, yes, uh, the bathroom there. So you can check out the shower. And then this is a hot tub area outside and a little family area. We could have put a fireplace there actually. Uh, and the pool with those fountains kind of pieced all the way down it. I feel like there would be jets next to those spots where you could kind of sit on a ledge. And then there's the basketball court. And then moving on to the laundry. And that is pretty much it, you guys. So do let me know what you think of this. Let me know what you think for the let's of the Let's Play coming up. Are you excited? And as always, I hope you have a fantastic week. And I hope you are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I cannot wait to speak to you guys super soon. Have a good week, everyone. Love you. Bye.